Fisheries and Oceans Canada presents research on the survival of wolf fish out of water. Fishing on the coast of Newfoundland and Labrador. Catching cod and crab. Shrimp, turbot, redfish, and sometimes pulling aboard fish you don't want to see. Here's one now, a wolf fish. The wolf fish, catfish to most fishermen, not the prettiest fish in the sea for sure. And look at those teeth. Why then is the government of Canada so concerned about the wolf fish? Why are they protected by law? Why are fishermen being asked to carefully release any wolf fish they accidentally catch? Well, basically, because studies have shown that the wolf fish is in trouble. Their numbers have declined drastically over the past 30 years especially the spotted wolf fish and the northern, known as jellycat to many fishermen. They are both listed as threatened. In other words, if action isn't taken, these fish could be on the path to extinction. The other wolf fish, the striped, seems to be in somewhat better shape. However, it's being watched carefully and is listed as being of special concern. So what can fishermen do when they show up on their hooks and in their nets? Basically, fishermen are advised to keep an eye out for them, handle them carefully, and release them as soon as possible. We do not yet fully understand the three species of wolf fish, yet each year, more and more information is being gathered in different parts of the North Atlantic, including in Newfoundland and Labrador and in Quebec. Dr. Scott Grant and his team from the Marine Institute of Memorial University in Newfoundland have been searching for ways to reduce wolf fish mortality on the large FPI trawlers that fish the Grand Banks. He's found that wolf fish can survive out of water for a long time. What we're doing is uh, we're taking wolf fish out of uh, uh, bottom trawls for, uh, for yellowtail flounder. These are wolf fish that uh, that are hauled up off the ocean floor, placed into a processing ramp, and uh, and uh, handled with any, any within anywhere from from 15 minutes to two hours after they've come out of the water. Can they last that long? Two hours? Our studies have shown that uh, that yes, uh, even when some of the wolf fish, some of the wolf fish, not all of them, but when they're out of the water for up to two hours, uh, they can survive uh, survive well when put on the ocean floor for two to three days. So it's very important to get any fish back into the water as quick as possible. But what we're looking at here is, uh, is verifying, not verifying, but, but showing fishermen that even though they're coming up, wolf fish are coming up in the ramp, and uh, ramp of a, of a large uh, uh, bottom trawler, and have the potential to remain in that ramp for up to two hours, that it is still worth uh, throwing them back at the end of that two hour period because some of those fish will survive. As I mentioned before, uh, their activity levels uh, in the uh, tend to uh, decline substantially with time, but uh, we have had uh, fish on the ocean floor put back in cages. We lowered back to the ocean floor on the Grand Banks in the same uh, same grounds where the fish were captured from. Uh, the cages were hauled back from the ocean floor after two to three days, and all these wolf fish were alive and active after that period of time. And these are fish that, as I mentioned before, that were out of the water from a half hour to two hours. Though many fishermen consider the wolf fish to be a nuisance and a competitor on the fishing ground, they must do their best to protect the species and, whenever possible, release them unharmed. Wolf fish are part of a delicate ocean ecosystem that we are only beginning to understand. They must be protected. If their numbers continue to decline, commercial fisheries could be affected. It's in the fishermen's own interest to protect the wolf fish and other threatened or endangered species. Hopefully, fishermen everywhere will do their best to make sure this interesting creature, the wolf fish, will always be found in our waters. Adapted from Handling and Releasing Wolf Fish, produced by David Quinton for Fisheries and Oceans Canada. Narrated by Michael Bourguignon. Special thanks to Dr. Scott Grant and the captains and crews of the Penny's Endurance, the Cape Friels Cruiser, the Newfoundland Traveler, the Mielbegek Harvester, the White Diamond, and the Cape Beaver. 
brought to you by the Government of Canada.